Hello everybody, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. First things first, you probably see I have my video going again. I am testing out a new green screen, this actual real green screen, no longer a virtual green screen. It allows my computer to run a little bit more efficient, efficiently, so hopefully this will work out better. Uh, still, It's still pushing a little bit, but I think things will be running a little bit smoother, so I'm going to give this a try for a little bit. If you saw my previous Zero City video, this was the, that was the first one I tried it in, but uh, it does seem like it's going to work, so probably going with videos now i do not have very good lighting um to use a green screen you're supposed to have proper lighting i do not have proper lighting because of my poor setup that i have here but i do think it is something that's going to work at least uh, for the time being so i'm going to give that a shot and uh let me know if there's anything obvious you see that needs to uh needs to be tweaked i know there's a lot of settings i can i can mess with to make things look better i know my lighting needs to be better which i don't have an option to do that so all in all, I think it's going to work. So this is what I'm doing for now. Um, today's video is going to be all about leaks, leaks and more leaks. We got a lot of information today. Um, we hinted a little bit towards another event, hinted a little bit towards the clan update. And it seems like all of them, both of them are coming soon, right around the corner. My guess would be next week sometime. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and post everything that I found out today and everything that I'm aware of. And, um, We'll, we'll see how it goes, but um, I will say it's been a very busy day. I did not get a chance to read through most of this. I did a, a quick, quick brief, like read the top a little bit, read the bottom a little bit to make sure my my images I'm going to show here in a minute line up in a somewhat sensical way. Uh, but other than that, I don't really know what I'm going to read. So it's going to take me a while because there's a lot of code in there and it's kind of hard to decipher. I'm going to throw it on the screen so you guys can see what I saw and then we can uh, get through it together. So uh, there's a lot of information. This is going to probably take a while to get through all of it. And I'm going to have to move some things around the screen, so it's going to be a little bit clunky, but I think it should be okay, especially considering you're going to get a lot of, a lot of good information here. So let's just go ahead. Let, actually, before we go ahead, let's get away from this noise in that background. I don't know if you hear it, but all of these guys make a lot of noise in my headphones. I think I have it turned down so you don't hear it too much, but all right, so let's just go over here. No point in clicking on those things because I'm going to be gone away from the game for most of this video. All right, so what do we got here? The first things first. Here's our first little sneak peek that we were given. Uh, a little uh, fairy flying here, plus we got one of our uh, enemies up there on a, a reindeer, I guess, outside of a castle. So that, that's the first thing we saw a couple days ago on Facebook. Um, not really. This is what we saw when the downtime came. Actually, I think what we saw was the, uh, the little fairy there. And then um, we also got this. So this is what we're looking like. It looks like we're gonna have another space space treasure, space hunt, space treasure hunt, whatever it was before event. Uh, we had one, it was a new event that came out in Hustle Castle and then uh, American Dad just had the event actually just finished. Then it looks like it's coming back now. This is where we get the hammers, we get the magnifying glasses, we get to smash a bunch of stuff. And this event gave a ton, absolute ton of really good stuff. Especially if you buy the uh, the premium um, token, which it allows you to buy the silver for nine ninety nine US and nineteen ninety nine US for the gold. Uh, I bought the gold in both events that I did, and it was in my mind it's well worth it. And you can see in the bottom. Let me get to the right screen here. I can't, I can't put my cursor on what exactly you're seeing, but in the bottom of that little display area, you see the token there. It's a little gold token. That's what we had before in the in the previous event, in the uh, space hunt. And I mean, me personally, it's it, it's. It's ridiculous the amount of good stuff you get here. You get tons of cash, you get tons of um, artifacts, you get tons of materials, and you can get whatever you want, but and then there's the premium items as well. So um, really good event, looking forward to it, looking forward to a lot of good stuff coming out. Uh, don't really know the specifics yet of what's gonna be in there, but hopefully we're gonna find that out in the next, next couple screens. Um, the dimensions are gonna be a bit off, so I'm gonna be tweaking the dimensions a little bit as we're looking at it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So again, I do apologize for how this looks, but this is the way it was it was sent out. It's a lot of codes in here. <clears throat> it was copied from, I believe, a, a Russian um, site and then copied over. So there's a lot of codes. Actually, this was probably pulled directly out of the game. I do take that back. Um, I'm working on getting some of these things uh, myself, but again, timing wise, it doesn't, I don't have a lot of it, so I can get this easier from other resources. So, um, all right, let's just go ahead and jump in and read. So once in, once in some time with critical health, power barrier imposes barrier on the fighter that completely blocks receiving both damage and healing. 
thereby preventing a fighter from dying in a dangerous situation. This is weird reading, but basically uh, more more prevention of death. That is what's been kicking my butt lately. There's especially Jembe. I just I constantly get against these people and I can't beat them because they don't die. Um, my setup is always about killing as quickly as possible and when i do this um they don't die they last longer and then their huge hero comes around and kicks my butt so because my hero is very weak if i don't kill quick i'm done so it looks like more of that stuff is going to come back to haunt me all right so here we go the barrier lasts uh where are we at the barrier lasts for a certain amount of time after which it explodes dealing magic damage in a large radius okay and then if it's if it's ruined once and so it doesn't tell us what this is called it just says lid elf october 2020 artifact so it's an artifact i guess that's all we know once in some time with critical health power barrier places the barrier on the fighter that completely blocks receiving damage therefore that's the same as before on well, the barrier a fighter can receive healing but its amount is reduced the barrier lasts a certain amount of time then explodes dealing damage that kind of sounds like the um the what was it called the phoenix egg combined with a shield so that could be interesting all right so now we got elf mage armor reduces the resurrection efficiency of enemy units by a certain amount of health and increases the resurrection efficiency of allies that sounds nice lasts as long as the armor wears alive that sounds really nice all right, so Mage Armor Ruined reduces the resurrection efficiency by the unit. Same increases the resurrection efficiency of allies by amount. Additionally, the first attack of the resurrected enemy deals less damage, and the first attack of the resurrected allies deal more damage. Okay, that could be good. All right, Mage Armor Rune 1. Whoa, that must be that new uh, the new rune that we got in the last event, I guess. No, that was a weapon one. Okay, I don't know what this is. Reduces the resurrection efficient, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we gotta get to the next screen here. Let me get back to the top, get to the next image. Again, I do apologize, this is fairly clunky. Um, trying to make the text a little bit bigger for you guys to be able to read on the screen. All right, so we're back to this mage armor rune one. Okay, the first attack resurrected enemy deals less damage, which we already know about in the other one. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what the difference is between rune one, rune two, and then just rune, because this, excuse me, this sounds uh, almost the same. Reduces the resurrection efficiency of enemy units and increases the resurrection. That's the same. Additionally, the first attack to the resurrected ally deals more damage. Lasts as long as they're alive. Okay, well, that could be good. We'll see. We got Mage Weapon. Once in a while, summons a flame of life that attacks the enemy with the lowest health. I do like that. The fire deals damage per second and lives on for a certain amount of time. After a cooldown, Wisp summoning a wisp each wisp summoned by a fighter on the battlefield deals damage to the enemy with the highest health and dies okay um i guess one of those with the rune one of those was, was not a rune that's really weird didn't read very well on that one and i lost my spot it reads really difficult here i think we're on the mage weapon book so this is the necromancer working on getting some necromancer um essence is myself here so once in a while not for the books everybody have the book once in a while curses an opponent for certain amount of time cursed enemies deal less damage for at least one at least one for a um, time and take more damage okay book ruined once in a while opponents cursed enemies deal less damage and take more damage Cursed opponents take additional damage when the curse ends. Uh, that has a, a been a, you know, that kind of sounds like the angel angel wand a little bit, but not quite as good. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm working on my necromancer, so it might be coming just in time for that. All right, we got a mage weapon rune. Uh, that's interesting because we didn't see a mage weapon, but okay. Once in a while, summons a flame of life. That was way above, right? Which attacks the enemy with the lowest health. That yeah, isn't way above. All right, let's see if we got more useful stuff on the third page here. Mage weapon rune once, okay. Fire deals damage per second. After summoning cooldown, flame. All uh, right, was, oh, we got a necklace here. When the amulet wear dies, restores health to allies with the lowest health in the amount of a certain amount from the amulet wearer's maximum health. Hmm. 
That could be interesting. My tank dies all the time in in early in Gem Bay. So if I had something like this, my tank has obscene amounts of health. So if I did that, they would die. And then where would I go here? Then my ally with the lowest health would get a big portion of that. So yeah, that might be a waste. Maybe that's not good. Okay, let me just read them. We'll uh, see how it tests out once it actually goes live here. All right, so we got Ranger Armor. Every once in a while, we'll weakened all enemy mages, reducing their magical power by a certain amount. For each living enemy mage by um, an amount, upon expiration, deals damage to all weakened mages for each enemy mage alive. That sounds like a winner for me. What is that for? That was for uh, Ranger Armor. Hmm. I don't think I love my ranger armor right now, so I'm excited about that one. That sounds like a really good one. And if it's ruined every once in a while, weakened, uh, reduces their magic power. Same upon expiration, deals power damage for each enemy alive and imposes fear on them. So if it's ruined, it does fear. That sounds like that could be highly useful. That's gonna have to be considered. All right, ranger weapon, Ar archer attacks are transformed and deal damage instead of physical. Archer attack to magic damage to the physical when attacking with a chance can stun the target and slow their attack. That sounds good as well. Okay. The ring, when an enemy dies, the ring bear heals. When triggered, this ability has a chance to restore heal two health over time to random ally with partial health. Fires no more than once per cool. I don't know, that doesn't sound very exciting. Warrior armor. All right, what do we have for the warrior armor? I haven't touched my warrior armor in a long time. When receiving damage, strengthens the fighter. Okay, I think I might have missed something there, but that sounds that sounds helpful. Uh, armor two. Magic and physical armor is increased, and maximum health. Oh, you know what? I bet these are when you have the uh, the ring runes, which affect uh, certain things, or amulet rune, which affects certain things. Um, that's probably what that is. Okay, and maximum health is increased. Ooh, I like that. Adds adds stack limit time, the duration of each strengthening buffet. Okay, so your tank lives longer or has more health. I like it. Might have to look at that one. Warrior Armor 3. If counter value or more fortifications are accumulated at the same time, when upon death, all fortifications are removed, reviving the fighter with health. Ooh, that sounds nice too. Warrior Armor Rune, when receiving damage, strengthens the fighter. Increased armor is increased and health is increased. Additionally, increases crit and dodge. Wow. The duration strengthens the butt. Wow. That's, uh, we got some really good armor stuff coming here the way it's looking. Our tank armor, that is. Uh, I lost my spot. Where were we? This is the same thing, but ruined, I think. Okay, I mean, some of these numbers are probably bigger. The duration of the strengthens. Yeah, I guess those numbers are bigger. All right, Warrior Armor th Rune 3. If more fortifications are accumulated, the sign upon death, all fortifications are removed, reviving the fighter. It's the same thing. Uh, warrior Weapon, when attacking, there's a chance to revive the entire party. Whoa! Warrior weapon, when attacking, there is a chance to revive the entire party. On their next attack, inspired allies will deal damage, certain amount of modifier, more damage, and the wearer will deal more damage. That's a that sounds like almost a game changer right there. You get hero hero type um, uh, functionality from a tank. That sounds wonderful. All right, what's this restricted chest? Description: The chest holds all the elven treasure. That's the that's the chest. Once you open, once you use thirty hammers, or whatever, you get to open a chest. I guess it's called a restricted chest. So this chest holds all the elven treasure hunt event rewards. The higher the level of the throne, so that's the one that we're going for. That's the one you get thirty, and that's where you get the uh, the big item. So um, that's obviously key here. All right. So next thing you th see there is current town hall level. So now we'll get into the updates for the clan updates you know we saw a video was it two videos ago i think i posted uh, some leaked images that i was given and son also was given that showed kind of what what the clan updates are going to be looking like so look i have four pages here of what the clan updates are going to be i think it's going to read about the same but 
you know, just I don't remember seeing all these brackets in here, so hopefully it reads a little bit better. But unfortunately, I do have to say it's the similar setup to this. So I know it's it's kind of clunky and kind of hard to read through, but at least we get all the text and all the description here. So let's go ahead and jump into what the clan updates. And I don't have any updates of when it's going live, um, when the event's going live, when the clan updates are going live, if they're both going or what it's going to be. But obviously, this is the first time we've gotten this kind of information for the clan update. So obviously, it's it's almost here. And we saw a couple of videos ago that it's polished and looking good. So I think it is ready to go. And they just need to turn it on at this point. So very exciting. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a long time. Now let's go ahead and jump in and see what it's going to be. So we have a town hall level one building. So it looks like multiple buildings. We see that in the image. I actually have uh, some images at the end of this. We can go back and look based on what we're reading here. We can see kind of how, what this text ties into what the pictures were. So we have a town hall and it starts at level one, I guess. Coat of arms plus $1. Okay, will become available after leveling up all levels of the town hall. Okay, this is weird. Current level of Hunter's Quarters will be available after leveling up. I guess this is just a bunch of text that we'll be seeing as things happen here. All levels of Hunter's Quarter. So possible rewards, I guess this is key here. So building, current level mine, capacity, protection per hour, will become a layout. All right, this just, a bunch of text we'll be seeing. It doesn't, this layout is not helpful at all. I'm just gonna kind of blast past here. It's all the same kind of stuff. Resources collected. You can build a building required for building a building. Okay. This is not, this is, I mean, what this is, is somebody gets the APK, the version of the software that's downloaded from the, um, the Google play store, tears it down. And there's a bunch of files in there with a bunch of information. So people are pulling that information out and, you know, publishing it. So all this is, is a bunch of strings of text that are listed in a file in the APK, the version of the software that you're playing. So the software itself knows how to pull them out and use them in the game. So they'll be displayed in a more appropriate way. But, you know, as we're trying to get through these things that have changed, it's just a bunch of streams of text. So obviously it doesn't mean tons, just seeing it in this form. So Maybe we're not going to get much out of this, but let's keep going. So town hall level one, you cannot start the construction of the building with the other buildings in pros construction. I'm guessing while it's in, in, in progress, cannot start improving other buildings in pros construction. So you can only do one building at a time. I believe that's what that means. Resources collected. You can increase the level of the building, the quantity and quality of the products will improve. Increase the level of the shop quality depends on the level of the store. So you're going to, you're going to have a bunch of buildings. It almost sounds like initially I thought it was gonna be like one building per clan, which is what you would think for a clan, but maybe each person is going to get it. You know, let's see, invest a resource to increase the level of building. I mean, that doesn't make sense for each one to have one. So it's gotta be one per cl one per clan. All right, let's get to the next page and hopefully we got something a little bit more useful here. Uh, looks like you can take these extra resources. People have extra wood and stone and then purple goo and stuff that you can't use. So it sounds like you can take these things, dump them into the clan territories and improve the buildings and make them bigger, which will hopefully yield better stuff. Hopefully we can find out what that's going to be. Oh, here we go. Are you sure you want to invest resources for diamond? Ooh, okay. You can pay diamonds to do it quicker. Reattach the resources. You can reinvest resources through... Um, resources that are collected, clan leadership can build a building. Um, I will say I did just step down from my Terminator, um, role as clan leader. It was, I was not being a very good leader and I was not leading very well, um, not doing anything. So I stepped down and Shalexi did uh, go ahead and take over. So thank you very much. So, uh, Shalexi, I do appreciate stepping up and taking control of the clan. It looks like you're going to get a bunch of abilities that you can do and, uh, share uh, resources and help the clan out here. So you can start the building, resources are collected, clan leadership can increase the level. So you are going to be the one doing it. Maybe it's gonna be the top couple levels, I'm not sure, but um, certainly uh, not everybody can do that the way it looks. Not build, upgrade progress, unique clan. Okay, there's a certain top level as you would expect. Insufficient rights to construct the building. There we go. So a regular user cannot do the building. So it's got to be from some clan leadership. Uh, what else do we have here? You have access to all the job board classifications. Okay. So there's certainly a, more you can do when you're in, on the board of the leadership of your clan and less you can do if you're just a regular worker. Uh, looks like you can pay to increase stuff here. Free acceleration will be available through a $1. Um, 
okay the building's almost complete so maybe that's the fact that you know at the end of a lot of construction you can speed it up so maybe that's what that is all right a lot of information that's kind of uh jumbled and hard to decipher at this point all right current level mines we got the mine it's going to be doing stuff production product will become available same kind of thing we got a well would you know, think the wine the the mine is something to do with the stone uh the well something to do with the water obviously wait do we have water in this game i'm confusing all my games uh yeah we don't have water that's shelter war i'm not sure what that one's gonna be uh well of fortune that's gonna i think that's that thing that was in the middle it looks like you kind of power up and there's like a big thing that comes out of it so we'll see what that's gonna turn out to be um you can start the construction we saw that and resources collected you can increase the level of the building the quality and quantity will improve your access to all goods so you can get stuff okay that's good increase this level of the shop quality and quantity of the goods depend i do apologize for this i know this is kind of uh painful to listen to but hopefully you guys can pause it and, and read through and get everything out of it that you're looking for um all right this is the last page here and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the pictures to see see what this stuff is talking about are you sure you want to invest resources same thing blah 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 i'm not going to spend too much more investors so that's going to be the cash i guess um you have access to job boards same kind of stuff bulletin boards waiting 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 okay yeah, like i said that's enough of that that's a lot of information a lot of strings of text that will be tied to the buildings that are going to be part of this clan update and we'll see what you know you get to I'm, I'm it sounds like you get to invest your resources and do things that are going to help the clan which will hopefully increase payouts or increase strength or increase something oh i lied i have another page okay let's see what this one is free excel acceleration same thing waiting enough scrolls accumulate oh some more scrolls it is time to fight a boss so this kind of sounds like some of the stuff in uh, some of the other games I played that once there's enough something in the clan, the clan's able to go in and fight a boss. And it's not it's not anything to do with any other teams or anything like that. You're just fighting a boss. And the further you get, the more damage that you do, the more that you do in that fight, the more stuff you get out of that fight that you can use to make yourself better. Uh, it kind of sounds like some of that. So enough scrolls accumulated to summon a clan boss. A new dish has been prepared in the tavern. Okay. How to go to the table. New tasks are available on the clan territory. Receive a clan resource for participating in all clan activities. It can be spent on buildings and buying goods and materials. All seats are taken. The place is free. Tasks cannot. Tasks can be for one, two, or three clan members. Each clan member can accept one task per day. Okay, and I think this is it. Info and improvement. So we have quests, shops, builds, upgrade, max. Um, throwing room again, one dollar. I think this is the last page. So let's go. Oh, that was the wrong way, didn't I? Oh man, we still got more pages. Obviously, I'm not counting very well here. All right, defeating a clan boss, you get clan currency. Okay. And there's clan PVE, which you would think would be war, but we'll see. Completing clan wars, there you go. Participating in clan wars in the Wall of Fortune, receive a clan resource. Not enough clan, improving the buildings. Already, oopsie, sorry about that. All workers are busy. You can only have a certain amount of workers. I wonder if it's your workers in your, in your castle, because I got a bunch of them that never do anything, so I can put them to use in the clan. That'd be fantastic. Clan personal royal store. These products can be purchased by all players of your clan. Three products can only be purchased by you. These products can only be purchased by you. Okay, so you get to buy stuff for the clan or that's available to everybody or stuff that's just for you. Drag your player to resettle him. Evict. Okay, all kinds of stuff. All right, so here's the here's the pictures before. Let me kind of re re uh, settle this picture here. Um, so this is what we're seeing um you know what's what certain areas you can't see where i'm moving my mouse so um it's a little too big it's not quite fitting on the screen here let's move it over here all right so this is what we showed before we got you know a guy up there in the upper or not a guy sorry uh, a building in the upper right hand corner and we got a building down on the bottom, which looks like a food place in the middle bottom. Looks like that's probably the tavern. 
and then there's buildings there with the you know the yellow plates in front of them so you know what and then there's that hand in the middle of those two buildings you know i'm not sure what all these buildings are going to be something that was obviously described there and then here's the other side of what that picture was so we got a building in the upper left hand corner again um there's like a circus thing in the middle there's a dragon over there on the left so all the stuff that we described is going to be here and things that we can improve and make the clan better so i don't know it'll be interesting and then here again are the buildings that we that we showed before as well so these are like i said we're very refined very ready to go and now we got this text we got the it's in the game apk um so it is ready to go so whenever they decide to turn it on that's when it's going to be time so is that going to be coming next week I, that's kind of what i was thinking is it going to come when the event comes that's a lot of stuff at once but maybe you know they've been promising clan updates for a very 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 long time so i know a lot of people are really looking forward to it really excited about it so um once i find out more information or when it's going to be or any dates like that i'll make sure i let you know it sounds like there's going to be at least one day notice before it gets turned on before it um uh the event and the clan updates so we'll have time to prepare and you know not do our dailies or whatever um when that's coming so i'll make sure i let everybody know when i when i find out so anyway i know that was a lot of information i know it wasn't the best form of presentation i do apologize for that but that is all that we have at the moment so um a lot to look forward to lots of good stuff coming lots of goodies to be gotten from the event coming up pretty soon so i'm definitely looking forward to it i'm taking that i'm continuing that downtime at the moment so i can be prepared to uh, jump in and go kind of crazy like i do i know i don't go crazy like many of you do but for me it's crazy so uh that will do it for today so let me know in the comments what do you think are you guys excited are you ready for this event and the updates and uh let me know what you think so uh, until next time this has been qc runner for qc runner games and i will talk to you later See ya.